Hey everyone, I'm Cameron. I'm back with another uh, sales update video. Wanted to show you all this stuff before it moves out. Some of it is already sold. Uh, a couple things, but wanted to get things moving. Uh, most of it is listed. Only a few things here aren't listed. They should be listed tonight. I'm trying to make sure when I show you something that is already listed, so I at least have an idea of what the pricing will be after doing some research. So uh, whatever I say though, try to keep in mind it could change, could vary. Do your own research before you buy anything. Uh, just to make sure that you are um, coming with the best information possible. So, uh, up top on the clothes, just one item, a North Face um, windbreaker here. Paid six ninety nine, I think, for it. I think that's what it ended up being. Um, should do okay. Usually on the North Face jackets like that, you can get 25 to 40 depending on which one it is. For only 7 bucks, that wasn't a bad deal. Um, a lot of shoes, as you can see, a pair of New Balances here. They're not brand new. They have a little bit of marking on the bottom, but looks like they may have been worn once. They were five bucks. We'll see how they do. Over here, a pair of Doc Martens. These ones are beat up. I've never actually sold a pair before, um, but those were only five bucks as well, so I just grabbed them. The other shoe items are a pair of Keen uh, sandals here. These were a dollar at a garage sale, and a pair of Vans. Um, uh, like snakeskin style shoes, those were a dollar as well. The guy that I like to buy my stuff from, he always gives me really good deals. So a buck a piece on those. We'll see how we do on shoes. I don't buy too many shoes, but see if we can make some money. Over here we got this Panasonic uh, pencil sharpener. Usually I get twenty-five to thirty for this one. Um, this one I paid three bucks for. It does work. This was a Dell um, laptop, I think, power cord. I paid 50 cents or a dollar for it. already sold for 15 bucks. It'll ship in a pad of flat rate, so I'll probably make five or six bucks off that, which is okay. Energizer camcorder battery, still sealed. Came in a lot of stuff for five bucks, um, so that was a really good deal. I think I got it listed for 35 or best offer. Jurassic Park game, paid a dollar, should get 20 to 25. Jurassic Park, some of the Jurassic Park games do really well. There's a PS2 one, I think, that goes for like 50 bucks, so... Keep a lookout for Jurassic Park, it's worth looking up. Calculator got this with the Energizer uh, battery, so we'll say I probably paid a buck for it out of the five. Uh, this is the T85, not the best model, but it still should go for 15 or 20, and it does work. Super Bowl manual here. Um, this is the Cowboys versus the Bills. What is Super Bowl 27, I think. Um, I paid 10 bucks for this from Offer Up with a bunch of other stuff. I paid a little more on this, and they came down on some other stuff, so. Not the best deal, but it looks like it's brand new. It's still in the plastic. We'll probably list it for like 35 or best offer. Um, I'm a Cowboys fan myself, so that wouldn't be bad to keep it too. Um, two food processors, some of my go-tos. This is a Cuisinart. Newer model, not as nice as the old ones here. It's got the blade, a little shredding disc in here, the top, the pusher, and the thing paid 5 bucks. I haven't listed it yet. This is one of the things that's going to get listed tonight. I'll part it out piece by piece. Hopefully 20 on the bowl, on the lid, each of those, probably 10 to 15 on the blade and probably 10 on the uh, little shredding disc, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, this one came off a Le Chef by Sunbeam, an older one, does not have the blade, but paid $3, comes with the pusher up at the top, the lid does come off, but it's got a tiny little chip, and the bowl, I saw someone sell the bowl for like 30 bucks, so that's why I picked it up for 3 and just to give you guys a tip on what I do, if you're selling a lot of these, you'll run into the problem where some of the bowls look similar and you want to verify which one's which. Newer stuff usually has a model number, like this Cuisinart will have a model number for each of the pieces. Older stuff doesn't. It may not have any markings at all, or it might just say like caution or something. And when some of them look close, you want to make sure you have the right one. So what I've been doing is putting a piece of masking tape. It will leave a little residue, but not as bad as another kind of tape. And I will put the model number, like this is an FP100, pardon the bad handwriting, um, but hopefully that makes sense. And I put it on every piece, um, and then I'll just put this whole unit in the, my storage for my eBay stuff. That way I don't have to keep the whole base, unless you're selling the base. Some of the bases do sell. The older Cuisinart bases will sell. The newer stuff, not so much. But if you're not keeping the base, you can get rid of the base to a electronic recycling or something, donate it, and then you can just keep this piece. And even if you sell the bowl, each of these will have a piece of tape on them with what it is. There are other methods, obviously, but that's what I've been doing because I'm buying so much of it that some of the pieces look very similar, and I want to make sure I'm putting the right stuff on. Um, right here, found this at a garage sale. Um, I looked on Facebook. They had a garage sale. I was looking through the pictures, and I saw this, just this label. I couldn't even see all of it. I think I was like... I could see just 
right here. Let me show you guys right there. I could kind of see like that, and that's it was in the top of a little box. I saw the 25 pack, and I knew this had to be a light scribe right there. These are the ones you want to buy. Not all CD or DVDRs are worth anything, but the HP light, any light scribe one actually is worth money if you can get light scribe. This pack was open. I paid four bucks for it. There's 21 in here. I listed it as a set of 20. Um, I always like to leave one extra so they feel like they got a little better deal. I sold it today. It was on sale for 32 bucks, so it sold within a couple days. So, light scribe. Remember that I've sold it a bunch of times, and it just keeps selling. Uh, TDK VHSs. These were all a part of that um, five dollar lot with the Energizer battery. Oh, there's eight here, I believe. So we'll say I paid two bucks for all those. I probably can get about 30 for them. I think I listed at 35 to try to squeeze out an extra five bucks. But sealed VHS can do well, especially if you get a nice 10 pack. Uh, or a couple 10 packs, you can make pretty good money. Um, this PS3 here paid 75 bucks. It was on offer up. I have another PS3 that I bought for 10. I it does power on, but I wanted a controller to test it out. I was looking for PS3 controllers, and this listing came up for 100 bucks for a PS3 that Masters game, which is sealed, and all this stuff over here, those controllers. So two of these little nunchuck ones, and two of these. Uh, move controllers with the little ball on the top. I asked her if she would do uh, 60, she said no, I said 65, she said no, she said 75 and you can have it all and I'll throw in um, an extra regular controller um, which I happen to need so I ended up um, saying sure, got it, um, the system does work, everything works fine so I should get around 100 bucks for this, 85 to 100, I'll sell it with all the cords it needs. Turns out that um, two of these little move controllers, if you do see them, the Sony ones, they go for about 50 bucks for two of them. They both work, so that's good. And then two of these little nunchucky ones, these ones go for, I think, 30 bucks for a set of two. So you figure 50, 80, 100 right here, that's 180, plus that will go for about 20 bucks sealed. We're at 200 bucks and I spent 75, so I'll make my double my money, plus I got an extra controller for me to keep for the future. Uh, to test out the system and it'll allow me to get rid of the other one. So always look out for stuff that you can buy, even if you need a part of it for another set or if you can squeeze some money out of it, it might be worth it. So even the bigger buys, sometimes there is money there if you have enough accessories or games uh, to do, make a bigger purchase. So pretty cool there. Sopranos DVDs, I uh, bought this from the dealer guy. He had 20 bucks on the whole set. I ended up spending 45 on him in total, including like the Keen shoes and the Vans. So 20 for this, I figured I could... I actually only pay about 15 when it's all added up. This goes for like 50 to 65 bucks. So not a great deal, but at 15, 20 bucks, still can make some money on DVDs. It is the complete set. And then this cool Pix S6800 camera here. This was at the sale. I bought the um, Super Bowl, what is that called? Manual thing they give out program. Um, paid 15 bucks for this. They had it at 25. I offered them 15. Uh, this goes for like 65, 70 bucks. It is in there, works perfectly, comes with a battery, just no um, memory card in there. So old digital cameras can do well. This is a 16 megapixel, so usually I look for 16 and up. They seem to be the ones that still sell pretty well. You can sell the other ones, but you want to get them pretty cheap. So that's everything, guys. There is still other stuff. I just didn't show it. Some smaller things and a few clothing items. Hope you do enjoy the video. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, and if you find anything cool, definitely let me know as well. I'm always looking for bolos and stuff like that. Have a great day.